Hey everyone, this is the Beard of Zeno. This is going to be my toy hunting haul number 35. And this is probably going to be a pretty quick one today because most of the stuff that I want is going to be at Target. Um, mainly I'm looking for NECA because I'm, I'm back in the NEC game. You know, I, I just stopped collecting there for a while just because they, they hadn't been putting out too much good product for me because like, the alien lines slowed down to a halt. And just, that's mainly because their factory and everything. So it's not really the franchise dying, but it feels like the franchise dying because. Covenant and all that stuff. As you guys can see, like my main NECA stuff is Alien. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, I plan to go to Target and get some Freddy's and some Jason's. Because currently I only have Part 4 Jason and Part 3 Freddy. So, I plan to get all the ones I have. Um, let's see. They currently have listed that they have the ad icons. The Captain Crunch and everything for the Pops. It's been a while since I got a pop, and those ad icons would be really cool to have, you know? I, re I, re I really like those, so I'm going to go see Press of Luck and see if they have them. Currently says they still have four of Captain Crunch, so we'll see. I don't want that Captain Crunch, but this is at the target that hates me. So, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, buddy of mine, Matt, who works next door to me, like, he went there this morning and he got them. So, they, they, they have them. You just go to the electronics counter, and that that's, seems to be the, um current rule set that to do you can go oh you gotta go to the electronics counter get them and you only get one of each so we'll see um uh just to update you guys because i haven't did a video on this yet I just posted a bunch of pictures on twitter um i got the predator fugitive predator figure and i have it here because i was going to review it along with the um bandai model cuts i actually have that video finished i just need to edit it but <coughs> The reason I didn't do that is uh, there's a lot, a lot of drama going on here between us and our neighbor. I'm not going to get into it here, just for legality reasons. There is a lawsuit involved. They are suing us, so like I said, I, it's it's a it's a farce of a lawsuit, but it is pretty serious, right? So I'm not going to get into details here. If you want to look, I got it on my Twitter. If you want to go look at there, but. That, that just killed my mood, because I literally came in here and was about to shoot the video when all this, like, started happening. Like, I got the Fugitive Predator the day that, um, this first happened. I'm like, okay, well, I'm fine, it's chill. And then the next day, it escalated, then escalated, and then got served papers by the sheriff's office and all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's, yeah. It's really, it really killed my momentum. Like, I really wanted to get back into reviewing figures, and I, I plan to. It's just this week was just terrible for it. It's because, like, any time I try to get this camera, it just... <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, um, we'll go to Target and see what they got. Hopefully they got some good stuff. Like I said, I want one of those, um, those Freddy and Jasons. Really, really hope I can get that Catholic Crunch, because that would be nice. I have about a pop in a while, so, you know, it would be, be cool to they get another one, especially a really cool rare one like that. So, we'll see. Okay, let's go. I'm not looking forward for this drive by myself. Made to the target that hates me in record time. It probably about 30 minutes or so, which is pretty good. Um, I hate this angle, but I have to film low because they're they're pretty crowded. So I'm gonna go get what I burped. I'm gonna go get what I need first off the shelf. Then I'm gonna go to the uh, 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 electronics counter and ask them if they have any there because you know. I, that way I can try and check out everything in that one. So I know I might go to the like, electronics counter first. I'm not sure. But what I do hate is my car is coming apart. As you can see. What the hell? Got you. I don't know how well that last clip's going to turn out. Because I filmed it in my trunk really quickly. But I got Captain Crunch. And I got pretty much every single of those NECA figures that I wanted. I'm super fucking excited. They had one left of each. All of them. I went to the, ne the next section first and got those because I figured there'd be the greater chance of finding those, you know. They had one part six, one part two, and um, one um, Nightmare 2 Freddy. So I got all three of those. And I started to get the original Freddy again because I used to have that figure, but I'm like, ah, you know, I, I really don't like that he doesn't have the straps down his side, so, you know, I'll just wait, wait for that one. I almost picked up the, the Chucky that was there, too. And they had all the Marvel Legends... Um, 10th anniversary stuff, so I, I thought about getting the Hulk Buster set, but it's $70, I don't feel like dropping a 70 note yet. So anyways, I walked up to the electronics counter, and there was one Captain Crunch left, and I, I looked at the guy, like, shaking, like, is that, is that the last one? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, that, you don't have any other ones. I'm like, no, that's just the last one, we're just going to Captain Crunch. I'm like, dude, that's the only one that I wanted. 
He's like, well, it's waiting for you. I'm like, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then I went up to the front, uh, checked out, and the guy up there, um, his friend who works there collects too. So, you know, I had a nice conversation about that, talking about my bullseye that I have that's worth $85. So that was, that was nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, Target collect, uh, employees do collect. Just remember that. <laughs> but I'm so glad that I, I was able to get this. Thank you, Mac, for telling me that they, they, they had them today. So they sold three by the time I left and came over here. So, woo, because they had four. Mm, mm -mm. And they didn't have any of the rest of them. But my cap the crunch, the paint job's a little... Uh, I'm okay with it, though, because it's probably going to be the last one I ever see. So, you know, fuck it, right? I'm going into Second and Charles now to see if they have the Friday 13th accessory pack to go with my Part 6 and my Part 2. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, technically, the, the dock and everything is supposed to go with Part 3, but I already have a Part 4, so I might just put the Part 4 in there because they're pretty close to just darker colors, pretty much, and a different head. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go in here and see if they still got that. If not, look at some of the other pops that they have. Maybe have something good. I don't know. May have Chase or something I don't need. I, yeah, sure, that I don't need, yeah, I want, but I don't need it, so yeah, um, might film in there, might not, I know I didn't film in Target, because it was super fucking packed, I didn't feel like whipping or not, I just got my shit and got out, so, yeah, uh, see you guys whenever the next clip's gonna be. Look what Max done to me, he's got me into mystery minis. Well, I swore that I would film inside Second Charles, and I didn't, so I'm probably going to say that I'm going to here inside of Walmart, but I probably won't know me, because I get crowd anxiety, and I don't like living at my phone in front of people. Also, can't remember who you were, but you're probably going to complain my beard's too long again. Believe me, I know I eat eat my beard every time I eat lunch, because it goes, you know, and I've been meaning to shave it, I've been so busy with work, that I just haven't had time to shave it like today i'm on a time crunch like uh it's 3:44 right now and i could be back at work at seven tonight because i gotta put out our ad you put out our stickers and things like that so that's just two hours to come there and just do that that's fine but yeah i want a time crunch so i'm only hitting a few stores but i wanted to get a video out for you guys because I, I feel bad not being able to do like the reviews like one or two this week and i was gonna head over here to this target and get this stuff anyway so i figured I'd hit a couple more stores and we got a nice little video out of it it's not gonna be huge long like the other ones that I used to do you know that I, I would have more time you know and more people were available to me film and things like that it's just this is the best that I can do currently so I apologize I wish I could do better videos but anyways we're at Walmart right now um I don't know what I'm looking for here I got a budget of 70 bucks so we'll see we'll see what I have uh in store here maybe if they have like one of the um the 10th anniversary Marvel stuff, I might get like the Captain America set or something like that, or Michael, and they're get Avengers on 4K because I'm slacking them on 4Ks. I mean, I bought it digitally just so I could see it again. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll double dip and have a double dip yet. So I don't know, I might need to get that, get, get both the original Avengers. You know, I don't know, we'll see. But currently, I'm going in here aimless just because I need some time to kill and maybe they have something I want to buy. I don't know, but with the Okay. Oh, what I bought inside, um, Second Charles, you can see it in the little clip that I recorded, but it's a bunch of, um, Cuphead Mystery Minis. Uh, so, uh, Mag, you're the one who told me about the, the Captain Crunch, right? I, I'll talk to him before in videos and things like that. Like I said, he works right next door to me. And he's been collecting Mystery Minis, and, and he didn't give me the extras. I have, like, a bag full of Avengers ones and... So Mad Max ones and things like that. It's like all the ex duplicates that they got. Like he gave me some, he gave D Desert Batman some. Just like all the duplicates they had. So I figured, you know, I'll start collecting these since I got somebody to trade with since he collects those too. And well, um, now I won't have a bunch of dupes, you know, like I can start trading with him. And if I have any extra dupes, then just do it in giveaways and things like that, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm going to go inside Walmart now. And hopefully they have something. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to walk out in empty handed, but we'll, we'll see. Everything's been pretty super packed today. They don't look too crowded. I mean, it's a pretty empty parking lot around me right now. So, and of course, I always park out towards the end. I don't know if I touch my car. My car's nice, y'all. Absolute crap. Okay, just gonna do the haul portion freehand stuff because I don't have too much time. So, we got just a piece of the resistance. I'm gonna start off with this Captain Crunch. Oh my god. Can I believe we got gum crunch? I'm so happy! It was literally the last one they had. Like I said, the paint is pretty shitty. Like, how did the red from the bowl get on the spoon there? And like, there's so much splotchy paint all over, but I don't care. 
probably the last one I'll ever see. Can't believe I got it. Maybe it'll get as expensive as Bullseye did just because I like having those expensive ones in my collection because someday they might pay for my kid's cottage. I don't know. <laughs> Doubtful, but... <laughs> I mean, it's, I love that I have a pop that's worth $85, you know, that bullseye, so, and it was another Target exclusive, another Ant Icon, so maybe, I feel like there's been more of these, maybe, I don't know, been more of a drive to get these, though, so maybe the drive to get these will help drive up the value, I don't know, I probably will never sell it, even if it be years and years down the road, I'm not in the business of reselling, I just like having expensive stuff, so, um, next up, I got this from Second Charles, um, not really sure what to think about. It's ten dollars, so it's the same price as a regular reaction figure, but it's a blind boxed reaction figure. But it's alien, so you know. <laughs> you guys know me. You know me and alien. Like yeah, I, I got get everything alien. I saw these ones before and I, I talked myself out of it, but I didn't want to walk out of there empty-handed, so I got this and. Then all of those as I was walking up the register, I just literally just grabbed the whole box. I'm like, oh, nope, didn't see those before. I need those. So that's going to be its own video because I have eight of these right here. So that's going to be a whole unboxing video. I might record that after this. I don't know. This is how much time I have because I have to eat and edit this. So we'll see. But when it comes to this, um, you can get the Dwarf Star, which is like a blue looking color. There's only three of those per case. So it's, it's I guess, uncommon. You got Space Dust, which is 4 out of 12, Blood Moon, which is 4 out of 12, so those are the common ones, and Supernova, which is 1 out of 12. So if I got Supernova, I picked pretty good. This is a full case. I just picked the one top center, so, you know, front row center, so hopefully, I don't know, I didn't do any research, probably should have. Now, with these, probably all the rares are going to be gone out of this, because like I said, there's four, and maybe people just randomly picked them. I don't know, maybe this is two different cases combined, and I have... Seven Cupheads. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's the thing with Mystery Minis. Uh, but here's what you can get inside these. You can get a uh, Cuphead, who is a 1 out of 12 rarity. Mugman, who's a 1 out of 6. Um, so he's going to be pretty common. Then I don't know this guy. Is it Two Vests or something like that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure what his name is. Because I didn't get that far in this game, even though I adore it. So, yeah, he's a 1 in 6. King Dice is a 1 in 24, so if I get a King Dice, I'm going to be happy. Then, you know, the Devil is a 1 in 12. Whatever this boss was, um, 1 in 72. Bluto, basically, is 1 in 6. The B boss is 1 in 24. I'm sure Sprouty Dolphin is yelling at me right now because he probably knows all these names. Then the Mermaid's 1 in 36. That I think she's as far as I got, is 1, 1 in 72 for her. Cagney Carnation is 1 in 36, and then the slot machine is 1 in 6. So, yeah, I probably have that one, that one, that one, that one, and maybe a King Dice. I, I don't know. It's, some of these are going to be really hard to track down, especially being 1 in 72, but that's what makes these fun. You know, and now that I have somebody I can trade with, I'm going to start doing these a lot more often because I, I really love the, the, the joy of opening these up, you know, the surprise. I like that, you know, I like the mystery to it. I just don't want to drop $8 if it's just going to be duplicates and I can't trade them, you know, or get rid of them. So that's why I went ahead and did it. Anyways, moving on to the whole thing that started this whole hunt. Like that was a tertiary goal, not even a secondary goal, that was a tertiary goal, right? I, I left the house not thinking I was going to get that, and I got it. So, yay. These were the main reason I went. This whole haul, this whole hunt was based on these NECA Target figures. So glad that you can get NECA at another brick-and-mortar retailer now. Ugh, I was so worried when Toys R Us closed. That, oh, God, this is going to be like FYE, and they barely ever stock anything. It's going to be just online only. Thank God. Thank God. The whole, that's why I'm, I bought as many as I did, because I didn't have any of these. I'm glad I held off so I could support them at Target and say, hey, look, we want you in brick-and-mortar stores. Target, we want NECA here. Please keep stocking their figures, you know? And, like, the shelves are pretty bare. They only have, like, one of each of everything. And usually it's, like, a whole case. So it's, like, what, 
four to six, depending on how big the boxes are or something like that. So, yeah, that's good. That there, there are only one of each of these left, and they were sold out of the part three one. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So just to show you guys, this is the um, part two Freddy. He comes with the the weird dogs that you only see for like two seconds. There's like a flame um, add-on back there. Really cool. I, I can't wait to open this up. This movie is probably my least favorite nightmare movie, but I love the Freddy in this. Like, he's really dark, really evil, and I love, like, how weird this movie gets, but also, it's, it's just, it's not very cohesive to me. Like, I, I, I don't have fun watching this movie, and I get what they're going for for a darker Freddy. They just didn't translate it well for the whole film. That's why I like the remake, because the remake is a darker Freddy, and I feel like the remake perfectly did what this was trying to do. Yeah, that's why I, I really like how weird this gets though with like the dogs and the the glove coming out of the hand and shit like that. Like that's that's cool. Anyways, we've gone to another part two, which I absolutely adore. It's Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and this is my second favorite Jason design. I love the back head. For some reason, this this just always stuck with me, with just the one eye sticking out. And I know that they pretty much just like ripped this off from the, the Silent Dread is Sundown, but. I don't care. <laughs> it's a really awesome figure. So glad they finally, finally remade this because, like, the original one that came with like his mom's shrine with the head and everything, that's long out of print and super expensive. And another one is a reissue of the Ultimate, which is my favorite Jason design, part six. I love this Jason design. Something with just the yellow gloves and the pouch right here, it just adds. The right amount of contrast for me to really like this Jason. I just, I just love something about the way it looks. So yeah, that's, I can't wait to add these all to my display, and it's, it's, it's gonna look so cool having all these here. Because I already have, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I have the Part Four Jason and I have the Part Three Freddy. So <laughs> I already had those. I, I had the original Part One Freddy a long time ago, and I sold it like an idiot. Like when that first came out, I bought it and reviewed it, and like that's on the channel. People look it up, and I. I got in this period where I was just like selling off stuff and I sold off that and I and, and all my NES appearance figures and that <laughs> that pissed me off. I, I should have done that. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is the coolest thing I picked up today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.